Hey guys, so I promised you a video. Even though I did a Facebook Live a few weeks ago, I wanted to pop on here and make a video for those of you that aren't on Facebook or didn't see it. Um, and this way, this video can just live on my blog. This is the entryway when you walk into the house. Um, we love this staircase and it's one of the things that we just immediately fell in love with about this house. Um, uh, this house is full of original old light fixtures and all of this trim work is original. It's all in really great condition and um, we had a team come in and remove wallpaper in here and in a couple other rooms that you'll see. So it already looks a lot lighter and airier but we just need to paint big time <laughs> and finish taking carpet off the stairs. This was all carpet down here. Um, and the hardwood floors are, I mean, they need to be refinished, but we're happy with the fact that they're in decent shape and that we can do something with them instead of having to completely replace them. So this is the entryway. When we go to this direction, um, we come into the library with these amazing shelves. Um, I really want to put in a rolling ladder. <laughs> I think it would be awesome. We've moved some of our junk into the house. Just um, the girls watch movies in here sometimes while we're working. There's a mattress. We've had a sleepover a couple times with some blankets and stuff. Um, but there's not really a lot we have planned for this room at this point other than removing the curtains that have little schnauzers on them. Um, this light fixture is so weird. Somebody said that that little thing on the top is to catch the smoke or something when this used to be an oil lamp back in the day. Kind of cool. Um, heading on out of here. We go straight ahead into the living room. I love how big and open this room is. It needs... Um, to have a ceiling obviously and I'm planning to chip off that plaster sort of frame above the fireplace because I just don't love it I love all the other trim in the house but that one thing I just am not into and I don't want to put a tv up there because I don't like tvs above the fireplace because I just really want the fireplace to be the focal point and then maybe put a big round mirror up there or a beautiful piece of art so I think what we're gonna do is when we put in the ceiling, we're gonna put in a projector screen, just kind of built into the ceiling that will come down when we wanna watch TV and otherwise it'll just be kind of put away and um, out of sight, out of mind. So there, this, all of these panels here had wallpaper as well that's been removed. Um, the arched doorways are awesome. We, we have a um, little playground and trampoline that the girls love to use in here. Here is the sunroom, or as it's called on the blueprints, the solarium, which I googled and it means sunroom, so <laughs> we call it the solarium because it sounds fancy. Um, and this is the room that I've spent many, many, many hours painting the trim um, and the doors and around all the windows. We have a double lot, so all of this grassy area here is ours as well. So that's kind of nice for the girls to run and play. Um, this room is gonna be used for creating. We're gonna have a big table in here and a seating space, um, like a couch or something. And this is just gonna be where we hang out and the girls can paint and do artwork and I can work on my projects and It'll just be amazing. This is that tree that we had removed recently. Big old stump that needs to come out. So this is just another door that goes back into the living room. So this window right here, after we tear out the kitchen, which I'll show you in a second, that window will be a doorway that goes into the kitchen. So the whole house will be in a big circle. We can head over that way so I can show you better what I'm talking about. 
And here is the dining room with these cool little built-ins. Um, the trim is like, it's hard to tell what color it really is in this video, but it's like a really dark poopy mustard color. <laughs> um, this chandelier is pretty cool. I don't know that we'll keep it, but I love this thing on the ceiling, except that the previous owners began painting it for some reason, adding some color, and that's, I, I just want it to be white. So that is on the list of things to do. Um, but the trim in here is really cool too. It's just so ornate and beautiful. Just really not fun to paint is all, but you won't hear me complaining. I'm just so excited about this house. Um, this little mudroom looking space we found on the blueprints is called the dinette. So apparently 90 years ago, they had a dinette and a dining room. Maybe the kids eat in the dinette, I don't know. But then we've got this charming little arch doorway with little built-ins that goes into, this was the kitchen. <laughs> we are in the process of tearing it out. The cabinets were all along there. Um, we've torn those out and we're getting ready to start ripping out all of the plaster and the walls. And then once we build on, the kitchen will go over to the garage. It'll go out this way a little bit further too. And then it will also go over to that window right there, which is the one I told you will be a doorway. So the kitchen will be large and glorious and it'll have a giant island with five stools for all five of us to sit and eat our breakfast. And I just really can't wait for that to happen. We have a long ways to go, but it's really exciting. So I'm gonna take you guys upstairs now. Oh, it's getting fuzzy, there we go. <clears throat> so we've got all of these cool built-ins that are along the hallway and down this way. And then around the corner here, we'll start with this gorgeous lavender bathroom. I'm sure that you just can't get enough of that. Original lavender sink, matching toilet, and matching tub. <laughs> Oh, isn't that hilarious? Yikes. Moving into another purple room. This will be the girls' room. All three of them are going to share a room because they want to. And it's a nice big room, so I think it'll work well. We're just going to take it one year at a time. If they want to have their own room eventually or whatever, we'll just make it happen. This room here will be my office where I'll be writing all my blog posts. I'm excited to have a dedicated space for that. These French doors go into this weird little room that's like not big enough for anything except the pack and play. Um, but it has this really cool, this window goes straight out the front of the house. So it's kind of Pretty. We're eventually planning to make this room our master bathroom. So we'll put a door where this closet is, a door that will go into that bedroom that we're about to go in, that will be our master bedroom. So this is the master. If we had a door there, then that would be our master bathroom. And this is, it's a pretty small room for a master, but I mean, we just don't spend a lot of time in our bedroom, so I'm not sad about that. And then this will be our guest room. Hear that, Mom? This is where you'll sleep when you come to visit. This little awkward green bathroom um, is really gross, and we're considering taking this bathroom and making it a part of the other purple bathroom that's on the other side of that wall right there. So it'll just be a big bathroom that 
the girls can use as they get older and start using curling irons and makeup and all that and they'll want a bigger bathroom. So those are the four bedrooms up here plus that weird partial little room. And then I'm gonna take you guys up to the attic because I can. Creepy. Here we are in the attic. They have these amazing little um, built-in beds up here that are like matching. They're totally symmetrical. There's like little um, closets for each one of them that are so cute. Isn't that adorable? And then there's more closets here and here. And then this big open space up here, which kind of reminds me of our current attic that we just made over. So this will just be like another fun family room, a place for the girls to get away and have fun and for us to send them when they're being crazy and we need to be free from them for a time. <laughs> so that is the attic. aren't too steep considering they're not as steep as our attic stairs in our other house so let's go back down and I will take you to the basement because there's some fun cool stuff in the basement too as long as we don't see any bats you might see me freak out There's our kitchen cabinets we ripped out. They're kind of charming. Okay, to the basement. You guys creeped out. So these stairs are directly below the other stairs, the other curvy stairs that go up to the upstairs. So they kind of mimic that same curve. So this room has a ton of cabinetry and then these are windows, um, like egress windows or whatever they're called. And then there's two over there as well. And this awesome fireplace. So this will be another fun space that we could have like a pool table and maybe like a big TV for Super Bowl parties. I don't know. I should turn the light off in here. This is just kind of a little storage room. There's our Christmas tree. And then this room will be part of our shop. Um, eventually, in here, this wall right here is under the kitchen. And we're going to blow this out and dig a foundation and then this will be a big old room and that'll be our wood shop. Sorry it keeps going out of focus. I don't know what's going on. So that'll be our big workshop. Um, put all our power tools down here and yeah, it'll be awesome. Try to remember to turn lights off as I go. So that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this tour. We're so excited about this house and we're going to take you guys along for the ride as much as possible. Um, next thing we're doing is tearing out this kitchen, so stay tuned for that. Bye!